have our uh, our files in um, uh, Synfig, and we're going to organize things. Uh, just create a folder here. Group these layers. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the convert these guys to constants. And then I'm going to also change the value on some of these. So this is how I can go from showing them to not showing them. This is kind of not the greatest way. The switch layers in Anime Studio work way better. But got to work with what you got. So I wish there was a way of um, selecting all of them and doing it all at once. And I'm not an expert at Synfig, nor am I an expert at any of these softwares. Okay, I've got it all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do my mouths and what I'm going to do is I've got my race the, my list here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that into here and then I'm going to use that and drop that in here and that's going to put the mouths and I'm just going to drop them below what is wrong here Okay, this could be a part of the problem with Cam Studio, so I'm going to turn it off and move it around. One second. Okay, the problem was Cam Studio, so, so here I've got my mouse. I'm going to move them where I want them. And I have not used this in so, so long, so please bear with me, guys. There we go. And there we have the mouth movement. And now we're going to um, add a bone layer. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Other skeleton. Right mouse button click, create child bone, right, so let's see if that works, no, let's just move this down here, no, it's not going to move because it's a thing again, <coughs> be right back. Okay, after some ser serious missing ground with Synfic, which is reason why I don't use it anymore. It was too frustrating. I spent the money and got Anime Studio. But anyways, if you really want to work with it, I mean, I'm move, trying to move these things up and down. It just was not working. I could not get it out of the group, and there's got to be some way of using arrows. They should make some arrows so you can go into the group and stuff like that. But anyways, um, you know, I, I don't use Synfic anymore. But so... Um, we're going to come up here, we're going to create a new layer, and I'm going to go other, and say, why well, I don't like it, skeleton, then I'm going to click here, make that green, hold the control key down, click on the skeleton, Hold on. Let's sort the skeleton out first. Let's get it where we want it. Okay. Click on the group. Get that highlighted. Hold the control key down. Click on the skeleton. 
taking forever. Right mouse button click, say link to bone, then click on the skeleton, move the skeleton, and as you can see, it moves the way we want it. Now, in here, I'm going to change the angle to a constant. I think that's what I want. That way it moves um, in angular motion. And now I think I'm ready to animate it. Um, so I have, this is slow, so slow on my computer, so, so please excuse me. I don't know if she's racist. So I don't know if she's racist. I don't know if she's racist, but I'm saying she's racist. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to change his arms, get rid of those arms, find the correct arms, there's the shrug first, there, and then maybe move over here, and pick these ones. No, don't want that one. As you can see, animating in this is not that easy. It's almost worthwhile spending the 50 US dollars to get Anime Studio. Now, I got Anime Studio with a Wacom tablet, and that's the one we want. Now, maybe somebody can tell you there's an easy way to do this. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. That's the only way I know. There's not a lot of documentation. And let's just have this guy then drop his head. Like that. And also his eyes change, I believe. So. Like that. Um, but I'm saying she's racist. So that's about 60 frames, so 90 frames. So I'm going to go to uh, preview. And 50% quality is fine. And at 24 frames per second, and we're just going to do 90 here. And um, let's have the render. Come over. Now on my computer, sorry, it's really slow. Synfig just takes up way too much memory uh, when you start uh, putting um, uh, images into it. Um, it's much efficient, much better, much more efficient on Anime Studio. But anyways, I mean, you know, the forty-nine dollars as opposed to free. Um, so let's see this render out. Now, um, the sound for this, I've had to convert into an MP3 because anim um, Synfig does not use WAV files. It does, but this, this don't work that well. Um, so, um, I converted it using uh, Audacity. I converted the WAV that I used in Papagayo uh, to an MP3. Not a big deal. And we should be finished here. I don't know if she's racist. But I'm she's so it's like I got the head wrong. So let's go back to the skeleton. Oh. One of the problems with this one is you have to turn on animation. So I'm going to go back here and fix the... angle. Turn on animation, come over to here, I don't know where it is, like I say, because you cannot run this in real time, it is a bit of a pain. So you can see that the head quickly changes like that, and let's just choose an arm.
that's fine for that one. Um, turn this one off. And then at the beginning, we had the arm straight down, which I believe was um, arm number four. Turn this guy off. We're getting there. This is really slow work. His arm. So here we have arm four. We need to turn that off. There we go. Come out to about here. Turn this guy off. Turn this guy on. And at some point the head tilt should tilt. Which, let's have a look at the skeleton. It does it around here, so that might be a little early, so late, so we'll do it like that. Okay, let's do it again. Render it out. Oh, sorry, that's not a render. We want to preview. And I'll stop this for a second while the preview renders. Okay, back. back. Um, Synfig decided to render into the Synfig directory as always. Um, it doesn't, anyways, that's probably my problem. So I'm going to um, put it into a decent directory, I guess. I have to, once I save it into a directory, I believe when I export, it will now render it into the right directory. course with the as a PNG even though I did pick Windows Media Video and now let's see what happens we'll be back okay so here here is the render and here we go now, as you can tell, there's no voice. There was voice in um, Synfig, but when you render it out, you get no voice. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to take it into another program, like a video editing program, say like Microsoft Video, whatever. I use Sony Vegas Studio. Um, there's plenty of other video editing programs. You can probably even use, you can even use Blender for free um, to get the voice synced up with the actual action. So, you know, it is free. Um, I do cover a lot of this stuff in my other tutorials, so um, uh, good luck with Synfig. I just, you know, stuck, uh, gave up on it because it was just way too frustrating. I know they're working on it and, you know, it's free and uh, the guys are working hard and they're doing a good job and it's it does good, but I would not 
you know, my what I've learned from that is make very small videos and edit them all together. Anyways, good luck on that.